up, y'all? We're back again. Me and Chandler's out here. Uh, y'all ain't saw it lately, but this thing's drivable. It's drivable. Uh, it currently doesn't have its own air management. It's all there, but it's not hooked up. Uh, he's been just driving around, put miles on it with shop air. Uh, so how's your tuning going? Uh, it's going really good. Yep. Yeah. Give, give uh, a shout out to that dude that's doing your uh, thing. Jeff Esteban. He's out of San Diego. Um, and he in. he is extremely yeah. patient because he is. <laughs> we've, been, we, we've been working on tuning this thing for three weeks. I've had five or six hiccups with the truck, and he's been very patient. Ain't complained one time. Um, he's been really really good. Yeah, there. yeah. Shout out to that dude. I I don't know him, but um, there's been a lot of messages back into. Yes. This dude was answering questions that he had on forums way before he ever even started tuning. So yeah. he's very helpful. Uh, but the truck's drivable. Today we're going to hook up the air management. We're going to try to. We just found out we don't have fittings on the back of the gauges. Hope we can get those in the morning. Uh, you see Jason's Nissan's been dry. I've been putting some miles on it. Uh, got a notch cover put in it today. Finished it today. Um, me and Chandler spray bed liner on it last night. Um, so it's almost ready to go. Uh, I got a rough in the alignment a little bit closer. It's pulling a little bit to the left. Uh, got my S10, Jeff's S10, Chandler's other Ranger. Uh, got mini trucks everywhere. Dawson's on the way. Uh, Brandon Yon's on the way. Um, both of them got their mini trucks. Hey, this mini truck built off. I think they was uh, thinking we was we was we was yeah, joking, but joking. This ain't a joke. they they coming <laughs> out. Uh, I still got to body drop this thing between now and mini nats, and I would like to paint it, but I just don't know if it's going to get painted. And I'm okay with the paint being just like that. When I go, it just got to be lower sky. <laughs> Every bag truck I own is body dropped except that one, and it's <laughs> it's got to be lower. Um. So, what else we got to do? Uh, we got to run the exhaust. Put a new O2 sensor on it. Yeah, he uh, broke the O2 sensor off the yeah. exhaust. Um, that's yeah. about it for the weekend. Yeah, he, he did that. Yeah. So uh, he drove it to work the other day. I passed him. It was like 7.30 in the morning. Flood and rain. No windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> Bag about to drag the ground on shop air. No worries whatsoever. He was happy. Went to leave at 5 and was like, my, my O2 sensor don't work. Yeah, I think like, He thought he got it wet, but it turns out, the it's just got a down pipe on it and it had rotated around and then when he laid it out at work um he crushed it yeah crushed o2 crazy. sensor <laughs> so uh we got no o2 sensor we're gonna put it in uh run some full exhaust on it uh and by full i mean about three more foot back put a muffler and turn down um and hope probably it's not, not a muffler probably not a muffler. we're putting a muffler on <laughs> oh my dog just got in the electric fence good job all right so let me show y'all this right here it looks really crude, but there's an electric fence right there because my dogs kept tearing my underpinning loose on my trailer and going under there and tearing all my air conditioner ductwork loose. So I put an electric fence up and I fixed that problem. New dog don't know about that electric fence. Just found out. So, uh, all right, bust this thing out. Let them hear it. Seven hours to mini nats. You're gonna want a muffler. It sounds good just like that. Oh, and he also got him my old school BMX bike the other day. He found uh, had to ride a couple hours to get that. Uh, what is it? It's a '84 model Swim uh, Predator. And uh, yeah, I went to Callahan, Florida to get it. <laughs> I don't know nothing about BMX bikes. They're cool, but I just don't know nothing about them. Uh, we figured out how to strap it down in the bed so you can haul it around with him. And we're gonna get this thing in, all the lights work. Um, everything works up to air management. So uh, we're gonna do that in exhaust and uh, go cruising. Yeah. Appreciate y'all checking it out. So uh, we got this thing up in the air. I wanna show y'all Chandler's custom down pipe. <laughs> this is for a Mustang with a 2.3 turbo motor. And uh, so it's hitting the frame right up there. We're gonna have to do some notching. But he drove it to work the other day and laid it out and let the air out of the shop air and the O2 sensor got up against the transmission and broke it. And guess what we call that? Bolt experience. Yeah. <laughs> hundred bucks later, yeah. got a new sensor. So uh, we're gonna stick that in and uh, we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of clearance up there on the frame to get this exhaust where we want it. Um, as long as we can get it above the frame, I don't really care what direction it's pointed because we can we can just bend the pipe. Uh, probably just gonna come over to cross member and come right back here. Mufflerish, I don't know, whatever he wants. He no, said no. he said a straight pipe, straight pipe, but I think he's gonna hate it after a week or two or a month. Or... If I do, I'll cut the pipe out and that muffler. Yeah, see, and then uh, Brandon just got in a fist fight with people at Zaxby's. Are the fries worth it? Man, they ain't even putting a seasoning on. 
<laughs> waited 45 minutes to get a sandwich and then he got it and it was wrong. And then waited 15 more minutes to get it right and still didn't get it right. Yeah. He's mad today. Definitely not going back to that joint. <laughs> so, do better, Zach. Right, so I'll show you all a little bit of what's going on in front of here. This thing has got a KP6 link. So you got your rear cantilever bars. Man, these things have been around forever. Uh, I had one on Silverado probably 2006. Um, great setup, man. They ride good, they get good live. It's got one virus, it's a 400, right? 480? No, I think it's 400. Is it 400? Yeah. All right, so I used to run these on everything before uh, the 485s come out because they are as fast as the 480 was, but the duty cycle is not as high, but they're like $150 cheaper for the pair. So uh, Justin is actually the one that got me onto the 400 train. And uh, I run them for a long time. And now that the 485 is out, I just go straight to those because they're a freaking beast. Uh, we got a three gallon tank, two water traps, got one from the compressor coming in and one going out to the valves. And it's got a slam, yeah, slam, manifold. slam manifold right here. Um, let's see, up front. Oh, well, we got the Rich Rangers cross member here. Tremis cross member, right? Yeah. All right. And that's his radius arm? Yeah, that's Rick's radius arms and DJM's and beams. Yeah. All right, it's a funny story. When Chandler had this Blue Ranger, and he, uh, we decided to bag it for him without him knowing, uh, Justin had a step notch, and I traded Justin a Ranger frame that Chandler had. My frame. Chandler didn't even know what was going on. I traded his frame for a step notch for the Blue Ranger. Then Justin took the Dream Beams that was on that frame, put them on this one, and then Chandler bought them back. <laughs> so, small world, but... He's already owned those once on a different truck. Everything comes full circle. Yeah, so. Uh, and then it's got the Rick's upper mounts. And uh, it's got a steering kit too. Who makes that? Um, that's probably Randy Page, if I had to guess. Randy Page Jr. makes these high ends for the tie rod ends. And then um, the tie rod notches are from Rick's range. Oh, yeah. Uh, that? I'm pretty sure, yeah. That looks like just a torch. Oh, this one. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Justin Bill. Yeah, well, no, this, uh, you only got a clearance just a little bit on the driver's side. You got a yeah. clearance a lot on the passenger side. Um, so, I don't know. He might have built that. It looks, who knows. But know. it's in there and it works. Um, we're going to get this exhaust on this thing. And also, Chandler figured out just a minute ago that he doesn't have any fittings on the back of his gauges. It is 8 o'clock at night. And there's nowhere to get those right now. So... We know that part's not going to get done or not. Hopefully, I had two get, I had two fittings, but that's all I had. Um, I can't help him on that one. So, we can try Riley's and hope for the best. Yeah, we'll try our Riley's in a minute, but uh, let Brandon get done eating and figure out what we need for this exhaust and go to parts store. All right, so uh, we took the Mustang down pipe. It was a little too low. It was below the frame. We sectioned a little bit out. Uh, we got uh, yeah, we're doing this with parts store exhaust, not really fancy mandrel bent stuff because uh ain't nobody got time for that uh we're going back down to two and a half inch exhaust because that's all they had i don't think it's going to kill the. i don't think it's i don't think it's going to kill the power uh so two and a half is still like big for a v8 and this is a four cylinder but um so we reduced that down we got a six foot piece of pipe right behind chandler actually that's probably 10 foot i don't know it's pretty long uh the plan is we're going to come right back here uh hangers and we're going to turn and go dump out right here in this area somewhere just barely visible we'll see how it works out all right so we got this exhaust mocked up uh we got a little chrome tip there on the end it's flush with the end of the body we'll show you what it looks like on the ground in just a minute we got us a 45 we actually have a hanger on it y'all proud of us it ain't a coat hanger twist around it straight piece of pipe nice little down pipe new o2 sensor you ready to hear it let's uh let's pull it back off and weld this up and put it back on Crank this dude up. Uh, we, we set it down on the ground a while ago and it's about an inch off the ground laid out. So um, you can't see all this pipe on the ground. So it looks uh, mint. We'll show y'all in just a minute. All right, let's see it, Chandler. Right here. All right, there we go. Got a nice little tip. Let me get out of the way before that thing blow flames out. Catch me on fire. Uh, My sensor's pretty. <laughs> God, how long does it take? It's preheating. Oh, it's ready. Hold on. All right, go ahead.
I hooked Chandler up with a billet steering wheel. I had over on the shelf. Throw that in. Uh, he said he's going to order one to match his wheels this week. It is how much? 150 bucks. You lied. Plus 500. They're like 650 for the steering wheel. All right, we got the gauges hooked up. Uh, we got the air mains hooked up. 175 PSI pressure switch. We got them all plumbed. Uh, Chandler is running the pink power wire for the switch box over there now. And we've got a wire right here that is for the relay for the compressors. We're gonna mount a switch in the dash, uh, but it's wired and plumbed now. Everything except those two wires. So it's on air right here for the first time ever. And uh, it's running really rich. I hope, uh, I hope we can get a reflash on a tune today and get that uh, figured out so it won't be quite so bad, but we're getting there. So uh, we got this done last night. We didn't have a clamp. We wanted to make it where you could actually remove it and get this off if you needed to. So uh, we didn't have a three-inch clamp. We had a two-and-a-half, so they just went and picked up a three-inch clamp. And he drove it on shop, or not on shop air for the first time and found out his drive shaft is rubbing that cross member. So I guess he's fixing to notch that out a little bit. Uh, and I think he'll be done. So he's got to do a bunch of tuning still, but other than that. Can't see. What? I can't see. Where your hand? I can't. Yeah, get this in there. No, nah, no, nah, hold on. Flip back up. You ready? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I just got spit all in your goggles. Hit me on the lid. <laughs> all right, let's see it. I didn't mean to hit it that hard. Yeah, I did. I'm all right. All right. Hey, you want to know why it's so bright? Why? There's something burning behind it. Hey, I wonder what that is. The wiring harness, maybe? There ain't no wiring harness back there behind it. There shouldn't be nothing in there. No. All right, hang on. Let me turn this thing down a little bit. All right, let's try that. What is that? You know, I, I don't use this thing. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Would you like for me to cut it, sir? I'm the big boy. He said I'm the big boy. That's what your mama tells you, ain't it? I'm a big boy. Hey, I got it. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut away. Until after he grinds it, it makes it look pretty. Right, so we notched it out. Nice and pretty. Um, uh, he tried it. I did. Yeah. Come in I just played. He, he done. He done a good job. Uh, kind of. Painted drive shaft, and right. this thing ready to go. That's it. Finish the tune up. Yep. Let it down, and uh, I gotta do a nut bolt check on this Nissan. About eleven o'clock. Eleven. Probably later than that. It's eleven thirty. Oh, yeah. my kids out here. Uh, we've been at it all day. Dan's already left. Um, we got. Chandler truck done, driving. They're working on the tune right now. Dude's in California, so he's three hours behind us, so yeah. he's still working. Yeah. Um, they just uploaded a tune. He's supposed to go drive it home, see how it does. Uh, got my little S10 washed up. Dawson's been in here buffing on my Impala. And let me just say, it is mint. Um, the dude told me when he bought when I bought that car that he paid $350 for that paint job. And I was like, that's probably gonna be a repaint. Nah. It looked horrible. Yeah, it, it looks rough. It had a lot of texture. But yeah, you look at the rest of the car and then the hood and the roof and all that, you can see. But yeah, it's it's rough. But it wasn't rough enough that I didn't buy it. Let's put it that way. So um, I know he can work magic with black, both of them. He's been working on his Ranger today, this guy. So he ain't really worked on it. Dawson. Dawson's been buffing on it. I uh, got over and wet sanded for about an hour. I still have my fingertips. I didn't work hard enough. Mm -hmm. My kid, I don't. I don't know. She rubbed buggy all day. Can't get no work. Can't get no work out of her no more. Nothing. But, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but, 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 all right. But uh, so Chandler truck's done. Y'all saw it. Um, logging miles. Just getting tuned out in. Uh, finished Jason's truck, the Nissan. I'm bring y'all video on that next. Um, payoff video. Uh, me and Dan are leaving here at six in the morning, which is like seven hours from, or six and a half hours from now. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, and uh, we're taking it back to Jason. Um, he uh, he asked me if I could deliver it. Yeah, no problem. Cover our fuel. We'll be there. 
So uh, me and Dan's leaving at six. So we'll be at Jason's house about eight fifteen in the morning. Drop it off, show him everything about it, turn and burn back, and uh, come back and get that video edited for you. Yes, I'm so um, Yeah, Nissan turned out killer too, man. Mm -hmm. That thing rides, drives. We roughed in alignment today. We got it where you can just let go of the wheel at sixty, and it does what it's supposed to do. Drag it. Yeah, we can drag it. Well. Huh? I, I would never drag a customer's <laughs> truck. <laughs> never. <laughs> never would I drag a customer's truck. You totally didn't never, stop never it at the red light by dragging it. What? What? Huh? I didn't do that. You totally didn't do that. <laughs> so earlier, I may have drug it to a stop at the red light. Oh, well. Love you, Jason. Quality control. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I just want to drive it like he's going to drive it. You know? Yeah. Chandler drug his truck a while ago. Check this out. Yeah, inner clip there. Insert. And after we get done talking, I'll show you the whole clip. All right, so uh, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be proud of Chandler. He yeah. actually, after eight months, put his truck together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dawson's truck's driving. How many miles you put on it now? I lost count. A bunch. Probably I've had this car for like, what, two, three weeks now? Put 100 miles on it. Guess what? Guess what I did? hundred. <laughs> I put more than that in like two days. Yeah. <laughs> That's what so, I did. Uh, what'd you do? I put like 40 something miles on the buggy today. Yeah. On a hundred acre farm, she put 40 <laughs> miles on that dude. 40 on a hundred acre farm. That's a lot of laps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate y'all watching. Someone must have broken my heart. Like really torn it apart in another life. In another life, someone must have really fucked me up. Like, caused my heart to stop in another life. In another life, otherwise, I don't know why I keep coming back to this. Keep fighting all of it. Don't trust that there's love to give. I don't know why I just can't believe in it. Like, somehow I can't commit. Guess I have to admit. It. With love. Yeah, I got an issue with trust. Really better open it up. Oh, 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 yeah, I got an issue with love. Yeah, I got an issue with trust. Worry that it won't be enough. Oh, yeah. Someone must have made me feel bad. But who I was and what I had to give. Oh, someone must have told me a lie. Really paid. Otherwise, I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love to give I don't know why I just can't believe it And like somehow I can't come Guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Really bad at opening up Oh, I got an issue with love, yeah, I got an issue with trust, but it's not your man.